Hello and welcome to the next instalment of our On Device Research Academy videos. Today I'm joined by Sophie Pemberton, Group Chief Strategy Officer at Talon Outdoor, and she's here to give us some top tips for achieving the most effective advertising within the out-of-home space. So to kick things off, Sophie, can you give us your top tips for achieving the most effective advertising in out-of-home? So I think this would come naturally to me because I work in the product and data team at Talon Outdoor. But um, first and foremost, I think it's really important to start connecting your data sets, not just for audience targeting, but for post campaign evaluation. So there's a lot of talk at the moment about programmatic out of home. Digital out of home has definitely become more prolific. And I think that um, clients and agencies that sit on a wealth of data are really intrinsic to moving the industry forward. Um, so it's really important to consider data connectivity. Um, I think it's also really important um, that brands should look at out of home as um, part of a multi-channel strategy and that there should be consistency um, creatively in uh, tone, maybe colour scheme, branding, so that your out of home matches uh, you know, your wider schedule and you create um, synergies and effectiveness through um, priming lots of other different channels, which is what out of home is really good at. Um, and finally, I think it, one of those things that is really important at the moment, obviously what we're talking about today is measurement and um, making sure that you evaluate against the KPIs that were set at briefing stage for out of home is obviously really important. And a lot of the time, you know, we're briefed in out of home to um, look at metrics such as awareness or consideration. Uh, and then we're you know, slammed uh, towards the back end of the year with econometrics results that are based on ROI. And there are odds with the KPI that we were talking about in the first place. So um, those two things sit quite um, quite quite difficult in a quite difficult capacity um, with us so we think it's important to sort of go back to the KPIs that you were setting at the beginning of the campaign and, and really think about how you've delivered against them. So what do you believe makes out of home so effective for brands? I think I, mean, I moved into out of home about seven years ago I was agency side and for me um, it was going through such a massive transformation um, and I think that the one thing that out of home has always done really well is to be a very public trusted broadcast medium and that will never go away despite all of the infrastructure and inventory changes that will that will never stop happening with out of home campaigns so um, I think it's a it's a wonderful opportunity for brands to really showcase something that they want to say and for people to trust what they're saying you know, you can't get away with putting big messages on massive billboards in front of thousands of people without telling the truth. You can do so in other platforms, but you, you can't do that in out of home. So I think that's really important um, and something that out of home lends, lends itself to do really, really, really well. Why is measurement so important at how? So. I mean, everyone will be used to this in, in media and um, advertising, but I guess over the last few years, there's been a massive transformation um, based on the um, the increase in digital, not just in our channel, but in lots of other channels as well. And since the advent of online, I think that advertisers have been lured into a lovely sense of short term metrics, proving that their advertising is working. Um, so I think measurement in out of home has to really dig deep into understanding what out of home can deliver against lots of different metrics and not just allowing advertisers to fall into the, uh, the chasm of online because it generates clicks really quickly or there's um, attribution models which look at Google search data driving online sales because that isn't the whole story. Um, and you know more so over COVID than any other time, it's been really important since advertiser budgets have been decimated that you know clients are coming back with more budgets now but they're more sensitive uh, and they're looking for a lot more meticulous measurement so I think that's really important in our home and um, it's important for us to be partnering with um, brands like on device because you offer you know really um, really brilliant methodologies when it comes to measurement to, to dig into a little bit more about what out of home can deliver not just from short-term point of view but from a long-term point of view as well and finally do you see brand measurement becoming more or less important as we head into 2023? Brand measurement, I think, is always going to be more important um, moving forwards because there is such a focus on short term accountability and we are constantly trying to reevaluate what out of home can do. Um, now, out of home can do lots of different things depending on the KPI that we are briefed with, um, but brand impact is becoming one of those 
KPIs are, and one of those objectives that is becoming lost a little bit. Um, and that is quite natural due to the fact that advertisers are obviously focusing much more on short term payback um, and CFOs in the room will be doing exactly the same thing when they're asked to report on a, maybe even a monthly basis rather than an annual basis that it used to be. So brand impact does help us to substantiate um, KPIs that we were tasked with in the first instance and to understand how um, there are softer metrics that can that can pay back for brands. Um, and I really like the stat that often you guys talk about, which is um, for every percentage increase in consideration, that is quite closely tied to ROI. Um, and that is really important for us to substantiate because it shows that softer brand metrics can actually pay back at a boardroom level. Thank you, Sophie. If you'd like to see more videos like these, within series two of our on-device research academy, then please head over to our website at ondeviceresearch.com.